know why God put me in this position where I'm able to give back. But I can remember being on the other end of the stick and living in the inner city and not having much. And I can remember when so many groups would come in and, and give. And I would always wonder like, man, why do people do this for us? We don't know them, we never met them. I never forgot how that felt. And so now um, I know you know how these kids feel when I do so many things for them and give them so many different life-changing experiences that they maybe wouldn't have the opportunity to experience. I just want other kids to feel that same way and maybe one day they end in my position um, and they hand it back down again like I did. Once I leave my house and I give all my girls, my wife, everybody a kiss, I'm gone. Um, I'm, I'm locked in, I'm pretty much in game mode. Thinking about who we playing, my personal matchups, uh, ways and plays and calls and sets that I can call that is going to be successful. It's a very mental game that I play. kids that I speak to all the time is that the reason why I've even allowed myself to be in a position to be called that is because I'm not afraid to miss the shot. You know what I'm saying? I don't make them all. It's a lot of work that comes with, with being Mr. Big Shot, but I love it, man, and I, I, I embrace that, that nickname. It wasn't self-proclaimed. I earned that. It feels good. I work out, I mean, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that we practice two hours. Either I come early and get my shots up, lift. So I'm usually on the gym for about three and a half, four hours a day. And that's the reason why it's a direct correlation to when I get on the floor and uh, I'm able to perform at a high level. That's just, I'm a rhythm, routine type uh -huh. of guy. So got kids, so I'm always up early. Yeah. So yeah, I'm always, I gotta be up, man, I'm going. Um, I don't let people break my routine. I don't let people break my rituals and what I believe in. I don't let things interfere with, with things that I feel are very important. My grandparents have been drinking noni juice for years and years before I even thought about, you know, even taking a sip. Uh, they used to preach it to me that it was good for so many different things. But, you know, when you're a kid, uh, you're not really paying that much attention. So until I was about 22, 23 years old, is when I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm more into my body now, and I'm more into, you know, uh, healing and, and, and my health. So it was about two weeks after that where I was just was like, just more upbeat all the time. And I was like, man, that, that's gotta be it. And grandma had the biggest smile, man. My grandma, she smiled so big when I told her that, man, finally listen to you, you know what I'm saying? It's, it works. You know, I was always taught that this game that I play is, is Although it's a job for me now, it was a game. And there's so much more to life. Far after I'm done playing, man, my stats and what I've been able to do, people will forget about that. Just who you are as a person stands forever, man. I've been very, very blessed, man, to have the people that I have in my life. You know, my wife's in high school. We got three beautiful kids, man. We just, I, I just come from a loving, a loving family, man. So I love my life, man, and who I am, who I've become.